Today we are on day number six of these 21 days of prayer and fasting. I'm glad that you are still on board in this event and in this uh, period of time to encounter God and fill yourself with the Word of God and also pray together uh, as one body. You know, last time I used to, when, when I went to the supermarket with my mom, I used to see a rack of a greetings card that is specifically pay, placed in the supermarket. You know, there's a story about a woman who asked uh, her son to help her to get a card from the rack. It's for her sick friend, okay, a friend that is ill. And then the son just went to the uh, went to the section where all the cards for sick people so he ju- she just grabbed the card and then they pay and they send the card only later on they found out actually that is a wrong card placed in the wrong rack and that card actually is for, for retirement with a message goodbye from all of us you know we all know that words are powerful it can encourage or it can tear a person down. Right? If you want to know uh, about your word, you need to look something deeper into your heart. You know that the words is the result of what is inside our heart. If you want to know what is in your heart, you need to study your words. Just, just every day when you live or when you work or wherever you go, try to study your words then you will know what is in your heart. You you will know what you have been eating, what you have been consuming, what you have been feeding yourself that comes out from your mouth. Not only when you are talking with your church friends, but when you are talking with your family, when you are talking with your your colleague or your peers or, or the topic that you talk about from Monday to Saturday, from there, you will get a good insight of what is truly in your heart. And from there, we can see what we have been feeding ourselves and whether our heart is healthy or not healthy. You know, if you want to find out what is in your heart, study your words. Study your words. In the book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 18, the message version says, But what comes out of the mouth gets its start in the heart. So what comes out from your words shows that what your heart is full of, right? So your words is connected to your heart and your heart is what you believe. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13 says, And since we have the same spirit of faith according to what is written, I believe, therefore I spoke. And we also believe and therefore we speak. So we better make sure what we are believing is the right thing so that we are going to use our words to achieve the right thing. Because what we believe, we speak. Life or death lies in the power of our tongue. It comes back to what we are consuming and what we are feeding ourselves daily. If the words are the result of our heart, today let us pause and ask ourselves what is truly in our heart and what are the things that we have been putting into our heart. Study your words and check your heart. Amen.